What's going on YouTube? It's the Gaming Beard here. Welcome back to the channel and another FC24 video. As we reach the semi-final stage of the um, Euros, I just wanted to show you guys and talk about all the major upgrades that we received from the game grades of the games as well as Spark the Glory cards as well. Let's start off with Fernando Torres. He went up from a 94 to a 95 rated card. He got 4 uh, plus in pace, 1 shooting, 1 passing, 1 dribbling and 1 physical. Uh, he's got the same 4 star, 5 star weight foot but with 99 pace, uh, 96 shooting as well as the um, finesse shot plus and Trivella which is the outside the foot shots. That's an epic card to have and most of us did get um, at least I assume that most of us packed a few of the Spanish um, grades of the games. So if you do have them in your club, in your club, uh, it's a banging card. Unfortunately, Rafinha is only going to be as a at a 96 rated as Brazil did lose in the penalty shootout against um, I believe it's Uruguay. He only managed to get he was a 95 up to a 96 with the plus ones across the pace shooting and dribbling areas. Next is I think one of my favorite cards is Memphis Depay. He went up from a 96 to a 97 rated with the addition of a playstyle which is the uh, incisive pass. I always get confused between incisive and ping but yeah he got the incisive pass plus which makes him a ridiculous card in game. So from the 96 he got uh, one once across the board in pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, and physicals as well. So if you pop an engine camp style on him, he'll get maxed out pace, pretty much maxed out in dribbling aside from composure, and nearly maxed out in passing as well. So you can either play him what, on the wing as a center forward and striker with that. With those five star skills and four star weak foot, just bang out. Your finesse shots from outside the box or inside as well. Next is the uh, Casillas SBC again, another Spaniard. So he's got ones across the board in diving, handling, kicking. He was already maxed out at reflexes, so he gets another one across speed and positioning. And it is a good SBC to, SBC to grind out towards, so make sure you don't miss out on him. Next, as well as we all know, Puskas got up from a 97 to a 98 with plus one in pace, passing, dribbling, and physical as well. And being four star skill moved to five star weak foot with the finish shot plus trade on most of these end game cards, you can just bang some, uh, go some outside the box or get some inside, and just you have to time them. One of my favorite center backs being a Barca fan is the Carlos Puyol. Um, so he's basically under 90k, but it's a really good card. So he went up from a 93 to a 94 with a plus pace, with a one plus in pace, ones across defending and physical and shooting, which really doesn't matter, but ones across um, passing and dribbling. And he got the additional play style of a bruiser plus so medium high a uh, banging strength really well down to defending and physical stats decent enough agility and balance so if you want to pop an engine to boost that uh, pace passing agility and balance be my guess but I think the catalyst is a good is a good play style to boost the pace stats as well as passing as well if you guys like what you see make sure you give me a big one of these Drop us up to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications on for future content. Next up, we have got Chabi Alonso. So uh, he went up from a 94 to a 95. And he basically got 9 shooting plus, which is mad. Uh, he's got 1 passing, 1 dribbling, 1 defending and physical. As well as he's already 4 star, 4 star. High high and he got no he didn't get any play so it's just a massive boost in shooting and if you pop an engine sorry an anchor 
that would basically make him an endgame DM. We did have his, uh, I believe, cover star uh, card in FIFA 23 last year, so he is almost identical in stats. Uh, next up, one of the cheapest SPCs and must completes this year was Bradley Barcola. He went up from a 95 to a 96 rated and he got uh, Trickster Plus as his fourth additional playstyle, which makes him crazy good. Sorry, he went up from a 94, the SPC was 94, then he got the plus one, the French win, and now the 96 with the other upgrade. So, uh, overall, so far, he's got uh, the additional playstyle and pluses across from pace, shooting, physical as well, and dribbling, which make him crazy. So, with the 5 star skin moves and the trickster plus, it, it makes him. A dangerous card in game and if you guys can really dribble well you will seriously get some guys to rage quit yeah, five star skin moves four star weak for it's a ridiculous card and as well with Klaus uh, he was the season progress card as well so uh, he was already four star four star but he did get the additional play style I think it was the Pinged pass, so relentless plus, whip pass, anticipate, and then the incisive pass, beg your pardon. And he's got press proven in there as well, so really crazy stats. Uh, yeah, so he got uh, ones across in shooting, passing, dribbling, everything aside, pace. So if France beat Spain, this duo is going to be deadly. A few honorable mentions. Are Bernardo Silva, where Portuguese jet, sorry, Portugal uh, lost against who was it? I watched the match. Uh, Portugal versus, come on, Spain was it? Okay, I can't remember for the life of me, but it was a sad game where it came down to penalties. But had, I mean, that game could have gone either way. Yeah, sorry, I think it was Germany. No. Someone's winning mind. So even full crook from a 93 ended up at a 94. And then Francis Coley, I think he should get the next upgrade. He could get. And then Alan Shearer went up from a 93 to a 94. And I think this is one of his best usable cards in a long time. Plus he's got 12 play styles and 3 plus play style pluses with power shot plus press proven. And Ariel, which aren't too shabby, and then Reinders from a 92 to a 93 with plus ones across the board and three playstyle pluses as well. So, and Danny Olmo also from 96 to a 97 with ridiculous stats. Um, so far for me, he doesn't really fit the bill. I've not had a good time playing him in game, but that's just my opinion and the way I used him at camp. He just wasn't as impactful as a few of the others, you know, like Rijkaard, sorry, um, Seidoff, who went up from a 95 to a 96 so far, and with Dutch set off to play against, I think, Spain. It could be interesting to see whether Seidoff gets the last point or all the Spaniards here with Olmo, Fernando Torres, Xavi Alonso, Puyol, and Casillas get the upgrades. That's it for this guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.